Yo, what up? It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. And uh, today at work, it's Saturday. It's the super full moon. Either today or tomorrow. Nobody's gonna tell me, but uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we still gonna get it popping. You know, that's what happens. But today at work, when I was at work today, I took a very long trip to Pettyville. What does that mean? All right. There's a dude... And, 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 and you know what? Before I tell this story, I need you guys to like this video. But for all the Latinas, all the Latinos, all the Mexicans out there, the Hispanics, whatever you guys would like to be called. I need you guys to contact your people if you give a fuck about life and tell them to stop being racist against black people. All right. I love Mex I love all people i don't give a fuck where the fuck you come from if you're not a rapist if you're not a child molester if you're not a fucking serial killer without reason okay if you're not a fucking bum if you're a bum i still love you bums make the world go around if you're a, an ethical good whoever the fuck you are all right i love you dude all right I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I've been drinking a little bit. I just got off work, bro. You know how much work I just put in, dude? You know what I did? I got like, I already did the calculations. I got 20 hours and 30 minutes of overtime. I've been working from seven o'clock to 5.30 from Monday through Friday. And I just did over eight hours overtime today cause I don't work Saturdays. And I can do that. I don't know why I keep justifying what the fuck I do to you. I'm, I'm grown, B. That's what I do. So anyways, Mexicans, Latinos, the Hispanic community, we need to build an understanding that black people are not the enemy. Nobody's the enemy. Stop hating. Stop being, uh, stop being a doorway for hatred. For unwarranted motherfucking skin on skin contact fucking hatred, bro. What is the fucking problem? What, if you're Hispanic, Mexican, Latino, Latina, drop a big comment on why you guys and your people hate our people. Because well, I don't hate, we, we enjoy you guys, bro. We love you. The West Coast, the East Coast, the South, the Midwest, not Chicago, because Chicago's a whole bunch of fucking separatist ass racists. And I'm so sad. Unless niggas need drugs and guns and weird shit. Niggas are racist up here. And I don't like that. Not niggas, but people. Alright? So Mexicans, everybody who is brown. Everybody who speaks Spanish. Everybody who has a potential to have Spanish as their first language. I need you guys to, you know, have a barbecue and, and talk this shit over, bro. And, and say, look, man, watch this video. Because Aaron Moses needs this shit to stop. All right, so let me go into the let me go into the story for you guys. Look, this is what happened. So, overtime, right? Pete, I usually get off at three thirty, but I stay till five thirty. And there's a guy who I've been working with who works on the other 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 side of the factory. Didn't even know this nigga existed. He is. His head comes right here to me. So that would make him about what? He's short. I'm not gonna give him a number. We'll say five, five, five. All right. Five, five. We'll say five, five. All right. So he's probably a little short in that. He's probably like five, five. Yeah, fuck it. So he's fat. He's a paisa, which is a Mexican that just came over clean from Mexico. And. He does not like black people. I don't know if he doesn't like black. He doesn't like black people. All right. He's this fucking skin color. And he doesn't a lot of. We were. It was petty wars today, bro. Petty wars, sneak dissing wars. And Chief Keef. He doesn't like sneak disses. And I. Sneak dissers, sneak diss is anything, you know, that'll fit into that category. And I definitely can can relate to him it's a mutual respect 
for our views on sneak disses and sneak dissers. Okay. But today, we both took a trip down Petty Lane. All right. So the first thing that he did, and of course, I'm a grown ass man. I could have responded a different way, but you know, I, my, my, my soup, my Saiyan pride, bro. My Saiyan pride wouldn't let me. I'm an Aries and I love war and I will bring it to you every time. I was raised by fucking all females and I like drama, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm half man, half woman. I have parents. I'm human. Everybody likes some feminine shit. Everybody likes some masculine shit. I'm here to tell you Aaron Moses is a fan of drama. All right. A big fan of um, Bad Girls Club. If you've seen my last video on manifesting with your phone, that was Christina from Bad Girls Club season nine. Okay, the last season I watched was season 12 because the rest is bullshit, all right? But that's not what this video is about. So, dude, first thing dude did, the nigga doesn't want to do a goddamn thing, all right? So, the first strike, the first strike, the first assault that he took against me, Aaron Moses, I work with a lot of Mexicans. So, what do I do? There's Mexican bitches all over the place. I'm going to fuck something, right? So, what do I do? I learned a couple Spanish words. I already took Spanish one for two years and Spanish two for two years in high school. So I know, what's up, a couple Spanish words, baños, cigarro, nosotros, blah, 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 a lot of different words, you know, way. So I learned a couple more. I learned how to say box, heavy, light, little, big. I know, you know, a little bit. So I meet this dude. Hey, what's up, bro? I'm about to take a break. I know I'm not supposed to take a break, but I'm going to go to the bathroom and smoke a cigarette. Now, I don't know how to put together sentences like that. So what I said was, the homie Angel, I just spoke how he speaks in English, but with his broken ass English, but in Spanish. So what I said was, me, baño y cigarro. And he said, no, not Angel, the... the the fat nigga. So I go, me, baño y cigarro. That means baño is bathroom, cigarro is, off, is, is cigarette. All right. I'm about to go take a sh piss and go smoke a cigarette. Right. So he turns his fucking fat ass head. And I was like, uh, baño, 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 eh, baño, a cigarro. And he was like, he looked at me, and he was like, oh, I mean, no, no English. And I was like, I'm about to punch this. You know what? No. Actually, he might be Brazilian. Um, he might be from Cuba. He might be from somewhere else, Dominican. I don't know if Banyo is, you know, bathroom in, in, in Dominican Spanish, in Caribbean Spanish. I don't know if Cigarro is, uh, you know, wherever this nigga's from. Okay, so I was like, you know what? Whatever. So the other Mexican homie comes over, dude who always wears some kind of weed hat and always wears a Marilyn Monroe shirt. He comes over. I'm thinking, okay, this nigga might be Portu uh, uh, Brazilian and speak Portuguese. They're going back and forth Spanish. I'm like, oh, so you speak Spanish and you're just being a fat. Uh, you know what? It's a lot of gay dudes at my job too, so I I want to stop saying the word faggot because I don't want to accidentally say faggot and get my ass beat by a gay man because that's just gonna hurt me a lot. So he's just being an unreasonable man. All right. So I'm like, all right, all right. So you speak Spanish and you said I don't speak English. All right. Maybe you're not a fucking racist cunt. Maybe you just. And I'm just keep. I give people the benefit of the fucking doubt. I'm not gonna attack you. I'm not a teenager. So, um, the se what's what's the second thing this nigga does? All right. So, I have to train this nigga because I thought you know how to stack boxes. We have to stack them one, two, three, four. Then you put a space, and then you put two boxes on the top, or one, two, three, four, and then a space. Then I put two boxes on the top, right? So I'm showing him, and I'm like, okay, blah blah blah. And he was, and I showed him what I said, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, space. Uno, dos, and I'm trying to 
teach this nigga a little bit of English. Space, and then I showed him, look, this is space. Space in English, space. All right, that's space. All right, so he's stacking this shit, stacking boom, boom, boom. And I was like, no, nah, I have to correct him a little bit. I'm a good guy. So I corrected the nigga, and then he does it all by I I was like, pretty much motion, you do it and show me how you think you should do it by yourself. So he does it, and he was like, he's not even trying to talk at all. He's like pointing and making grunt eh, eh, eh. so he does he does the one two three four space but it's a little close so he's like little you know body language vocalization a little insecure about what he did so i'm looking i was like yeah yeah this shit's good and then i you know push the boxes in a little bit so they wouldn't poke out poke out and he was like eh? and i was like no it's bueno and he looked at me and he was like nigga why are you speaking Spanish? You are black. Don't speak Spanish to me. And I'm looking at him like, are we going to do this, bro? Is this what we're going to do? And it's just this stare down. And then the box comes. I'm like, go get the fucking box, nigga. And then it's a long, it's a long line. You have to push the fucking boxes. This fucking fat motherfucker. I almost said the F word again. I'm not going to say it. You pu you're supposed to push them like a man. This little fucking T-Rex arm having ass motherfucker wants to walk them slowly. And he's seen Aaron Moses in action. I don't move slow. I like the I like the climate. I like the environment of moving fast. Masculine, fiery energy. Boom, that's what that means. And this nigga slowly, like, I'm anticipating I want to work at a certain rhythm, bro. And you're doing this shit all slow. You're... Okay, I don't have anything against Mexicans or Pisces. I'm not saying anything when I say this. This nigga stank. He sprayed on cologne. Fucking put on deodorant three days ago and put on a sour ass, nasty ass shirt and was sitting by me. I'm like, dude, you're doing this shit on purpose. He fucking sees how I work. This nigga put, there's a, at the end of the conveyor belt, there's a rail that you can either keep down or put up. This nigga kept putting this shit up. I'm like, bro. Then this fucking motherfucker took a fucking wrench and screwed this shit in and hit the wrench like a bitch ass nigga. And I'm fucking, I come back. I'm like, oh, this mother, all right, you want to do it again? All right. <sighs> all right. So I'm trying to, I'm, cl I'm fucking pulling this shit because all you got to do is like yank it and then it just, it goes down. I'm like, oh, you screw, oh, okay. You screwed the screws tight. All you got to do is push the goddamn boxes, bro. I'm not even going to fucking make you work. All you have to do is push the boxes. This is not, this part of the truck is none of your concern. Push the boxes. This rail is not going to make your job easier or harder. It's just going to make you look like a fucking bitch ass nigga. That's what it's going to do. It's going to make me, it's going to motivate me to do some shit that I'm not supposed to do. That I don't want to do that I'm trying to escape doing to you. And because you're smaller than me and you're clearly out of shape, you clearly fucking hate yourself. You clearly can't even lift 30 pounds over your fucking fat little head. So I'm not going to fucking do anything to you. So this nigga's constantly doing this shit. I leave out the truck to pack another fucking truck. This fucking dude sits in my fucking... It's not my seat. It's not my seat. It's a conveyor belt. We're not even supposed to sit on it, technically. So... He's sitting there. I'm like, all right, I got to go. You know, I'm, I'm not going to pace. I'm not pacing. What I did was I moved more boxes. I adjusted the other truck. So I'm like, all right, all right. What, what am I going to do? What am I going to do to this motherfucker? All right. So what I'm doing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to fuck with your reptilian brain. All right. I know you don't like being fat. I know you don't like being short. I know you don't like being weak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what you're doing. But I'm going to do it. To fuck with your reptilian brain. You're fucking with my frontal lobe. You're fucking with my midbrain. You're fucking with my amygdala. I'm gonna fuck with the primary part of your brain. So I'm fucking oh stretching and shit, showing the nigga how tall I can fucking reach. I got longer. I have the I have the average length of my arms. My wingspan is the average length for a 6'4 man. Alright? So I have long ass arms on this fucking 5'10, 5'11 body, alright? So I'm fucking reaching up, fucking stretching my whole body. I'm fucking, I'm not, I'm not, I'm light. So I'm sitting on these boxes that he will never be able to sit on for the rest of his life. 
I'm looking at him like, you can't sit on these boxes, nigga. You are 5'4", and you are 250 pounds, bro. Sit on that fucking conveyor belt if you want to sit down. I'm sitting on boxes that if you even lean on them, they will cave in. I'm fucking, when he's walking, I'm banging on the shit on the, on the trailer. Every step he takes, boom, boom, boom. And I know he knows what I'm doing because he knows that I know that he's fucking with me. And I shouldn't let it, and it didn't bother me in the way that I'm presenting, but it bothered me that he was even doing this, that nigga, I trained you, I'm trying to help you, I like to do this fucking type of work, you're out of shape, you can't do what I can do, I want to do this to pass the time, you're sitting around doing nothing, what else did I do, fucking, um, that's pretty much it, but this fucking guy was, this dude was fucking with me, but, the point is, man, the point of this, this there, there is no point. The point is, if you don't fuck with me, man, and that's like, oh, big bad Aaron Moses, you you did all the work for this guy and made him feel insecure. You're just a bully. I'm not a fucking bully, dude. It's just, what do you, what do you expect me to do? This nigga that hates himself enough for him to be five, 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 four and to weigh over 200 fucking 25 pounds. This nigga hates himself enough to not take showers. This nigga hates himself enough to not be able to lift 30 pounds over his fat fucking head. This nigga hates himself enough, his own skin color enough to to to, to attack me because he's probably was darker than me, bro. I'm yellow. That nigga's red. So you see me your mother fucking told your mom told you to grow up and and marry a tall skinny light fucking selma hayek looking ass chick and you hate yourself because you're light Be i mean because you're dark and all your cousins are light and all your crushes are light skin and they wouldn't fuck with you because you're darker than my ass so you're gonna take your shit out on me because i'm skinny because i'm pretty if the nigga lost weight i'm sure the motherfucker would be pretty he has nice bone structure, you know, but the motherfucker is just a slob. The nigga eats fucking, this nigga drinks tamale shakes. This nigga, and this nigga's not even addicted to heroin. This nigga shoots up salsa verde in his blood every day. That's why he comes to work. This nigga smells like food, axe, ass, fat, hatred, and sand. And, and uh, whatever the fuck he puts in his fucking braids. He has five braids with a dad hat on halfway down his back. With a fucking gold tooth. With a fucking green sweater. With some dad jeans on tucked in. Nigga, why the fuck do you have a green sweater tucked in with your sleeves rolled up with an undershirt on and some dad jeans? With some fucking Cortezes. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Look, Pettyville Central, man. I don't want to go on and keep talking about this fucking motherfucker. I hope I didn't call him a faggot anymore. I hope that the nigga does not die of a heart attack. But I'm sure he will. He's probably like 35. Fuck that nigga, man. Fuck that nigga, man. And I'm never going to work with this nigga again. I'm never doing overtime with this nigga ever again. Am I going to let him fuck up my money? No. Did I, I didn't tell him the nigga. I didn't say, hey, you got to, bro, you got to teach. You have to get somebody else to train this nigga. This nigga's not doing shit. This man literally eight hours, bro. This nigga literally touched 20 boxes. I did a fucking, I did a whole truck and a quarter truck. That's how many boxes we got in. I don't know how many boxes that in, but is, but that's way more than fucking 20. All right, man. That's why I fuck with you guys, bro. You guys are my fucking rock, man. I can vent to you motherfuckers. And, and you can get something out of it. You can say, this nigga's a fucking corny little bitch. Or you can say, man, this nigga's funny as hell. Or you can say, you know what, Aaron Moses? I'm going to learn from your mistakes. I'm a better person. Let me put this motherfucking razor down. Mom, I'm not going to, hello? I'm not going to kill myself, and I don't hate you. You know, that's what we do, man. That's Aaron motherfucking Moses. I I'm growing, man, because I didn't slap this nigga in his fucking face. But, that's it, man. Don't drink and drive <laughs> every day. Peace.